Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to set our car blueprint in 3ds Max. In most cases, you need to make your car blueprint, if you don't have one. Luckily, we found a blueprint, for the car we want to model. The blueprint measures, are perfectly aligned, and has the same dimensions as in real life. However, I would like to point out the right way of how car width, is measured. The horizontal distance, between the centers of either, the front or rear wheels, is called the base. While the wheel base, is the horizontal distance, between the centers of the front, and rear wheel. Neither the base distance, nor, the distance between the side mirrors, is the width of the car. The car width is the distance from the far point on the left, to the far right, or vice versa. In the front or the back view. Here in the top side view, it is the far point on the top, to the far point on the bottom. Keep in mind, this image has some perspective differences, from what we have inside 3ds Max. Next, I am going to add a rim, to this blueprint, using the following process. After the editing, save the blueprint, to your project folder. Inside 3ds Max, set your system unit to meters, this unit will suit modeling cars. One generic unit now inside Max, is equal to 1 meter. Generate a box, with the given dimensions of the car, in meters. It is recommended to keep your modeling, centered to the world axis. We only need four sides of this cloned box, to represent the blueprint. Press M to open the material editor, apply a standard material, with a bitmap of the blueprint, to the object. Apply Unwrap UVW modifier, to the object, to unwrap each side, to its corresponding one, in the blueprint. Set 
select all sides in the UVW editor and scale them together to match the blueprint left side. By doing this, we are sure that all other sides will have the same scale. Map each other UV to its corresponding place on the blueprint. Detach, name, and move each side of the object, as shown in the viewport. Moving polygons in the sub-object level will keep the object axis aligned at the center of the world. Freeze the blueprint references as shown to prevent their selection during modeling. You may need to hide the back reference in the front viewport or hide the front reference on the back viewport when modeling on the front or the back viewports. I am going to add a custom grid and align it to the left side of the reference dimension box. After activating the custom grid, any created objects in the viewport will be snapped to the custom grid. Right click on the viewport and select activate grid. You can use the line tool to track the blueprint edges. This may be helpful if you want to track and render a high resolution blueprint. However, this is not the right approach when modeling curved surfaces inside 3ds Max. Later in this video, you will know why. You might notice the low resolution of the blueprint references in the viewport. In order to fix that, go to the display configuration, then display performance and change texture map to 1024 pixel.
I have noticed the top reference is not mapped correctly, so let's fix that. When it came to tracking the blueprint, with line or splines, in targeting modeling an object, this might sound reasonable, in CAD software. However, this is not the same case, inside 3ds Max. 3ds Max is a polygon-based software, and those line, or splines, or even NURBS, do not behave as they do, in CAD software. For example, when trying to apply surface modifier, to the spline shape we have created, it will not work. The only way to make a surface from this spline is to convert it to polygon by using convert to poly modifier. Although the surface we just created may look well, but in fact this surface is the explicit meaning of bad topology. Now we need to fix this bad topology by converting this surface into either quadro or tripoly or both in the same time preserving the surface curves. The spline modeling technique is acceptable when designing a car in CAD software, where you don't have to worry about the topology or the curves during the modeling process. Needless to say, this is not a good approach in modeling cars inside 3ds Max. Let's see how spline shapes work exactly inside 3ds Max. I am creating different spline shapes with 3 and 4 and 5 vertices or points. Now, let's apply a surface modifier to each one of them. While 3ds Max is capable to create a surface on 3 and 4 vertices shapes, it cannot solve or figure the 5 vertices or above shapes. We can create a surface on this shape by converting it into a pentapolygon, also called Ngon, which still considered a bad topology in modeling. In this part of our tutorial, we will include the side mirrors into the scene references. Select the front, the back, and the top references after unfreezing them. Now apply Edit Poly Modifier, then select the side edges as shown. Press and hold Shift while using the non-uniform scale tool to extrude those edges on the x-axis in opposite direction. Let's apply Unwrap UVW modifier.
Flipping these faces horizontally is required for the following editing. Select the faces that we already mapped, detach, and freeze them, as shown in the editor. Select the extruded faces from the editor by left click and drag. Apply Relax by Polygon Angle from the Tools menu inside the editor. No matter I try to change the relax values, the tool still perform relax and shrink the map. They may call it shrink relax, not only relax, which is the desired effect, we could not achieve. However, this can be fixed by adjusting the scale of these faces in the editor. Let me know in the comments if you know a better way for doing this. Use Render UVW template to render and export the template which we mapped in the editor. Use the following method to clean the references. Freeze the references layer as shown. Now we have completed setting our scene with references and we are ready to move forward to the next modeling process. The link for this scene will be in the description. Thanks for watching.